Hello and welcome, my name is Audubon Bisquick, and today I'm going to be showing off two very standard and very conservative builds for the United States Forces and Company of Heroes 2. Just before we get started, if you are a Company of Heroes veteran and you have a build order that you want featured, please do leave a comment or contact me elsewhere. Second, I'm starting this project because there's a lack of solid and short build orders on YouTube for this game, so I thought that I might spearhead this informational project. My goal is for each guide to only be a few minutes long and to get the point across for new players. Okay, so as a USF main, I'll be providing two standard USF build orders for this first video. The core of a CO2 early game for the USF is going to consist of three riflemen and a commanding officer, these being either the lieutenant or the captain. Rarely will you get both. Opening moves look something like this. Riflemen, 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 CO. I know, very hard build order. These four units provide the best balance of manpower spend and control of the map, so we will pretty much have this every game. Let's start with the current meta build, the Captain build. After your three Rufflemen and the CO, you want to save up for the platoon upgrade. This allows you to build the Pack Howitzer and the Anti-Aircraft Half Track. So after your first few units, build order will look like this. Platoon upgrade, Anti-Aircraft Half Track. After this, use your Half Track and your Rufflemen to pressure the German infantry, and you can actually play pretty aggressively. In fact, against the Osthair, you can actually use the anti-aircraft half-track to duel with 222s. After this, pick up the ambulance to keep your manpower bleed low, and after that, go for the weapon racks upgrade. At this point, you should be able to afford a fully upgrade rifleman. Keep in mind, at this point, it might also be a good idea to put bazookas on your rear echelon troops. After the racks, you're going to have plenty of manpower to spend until the major, so usually you use this to buy a pack howitzer or two. This allows you to massively pressure the German infantry by dealing damage to static team weapons as well as buildings and just counteract blobs. Now I did mention earlier, after that you want to spend your fuel on the major and then after that, the Sherman. After your Sherman, generally we buy a Jackson to help against potential Axis armor that's on the field. And after that, we're rounding into a late game army. So just buy whatever you need. Builds and co can be fluid. So if you need a counter something I didn't mention, get that counter. The next build here is slightly deprecated. This is the Lieutenant build. It's mostly the same as the Captain build, but instead of the Captain, you get the Lieutenant. Very similarly, you want to rush the platoon upgrade, but instead of saving up for the AA half-track, you want to get the M20. The M20 lets you pressure the Germans by adding a machine gun that is mobile. After that, you have two options. You can get the ambulance to help stymie the bleed of manpower, or rush to a Stuart. This helps you against the Panzer II Lux coming out of the Oberkommando, or against the 222 from the Osthair. Keep in mind that whatever you get, you will be delaying the other, so make that decision well. After that, pick up your weapon racks, pick up your MG, and pick up whatever else you need. As we round out into the Major, into the Sherman, and to the Jackson, the same as the other builds. So these are two very similar builds, but you have a kind of different early to mid game uh, because of either the AA half track or the M20 and Stuart. Okay, those are my builds. If you're watching, if this guide helped you, drop a like. If you have a build you'd like to submit, leave a comment, and if you like my work, please consider subscribing. I've been Aubon Bisquick, and I'll see you next time.